Oh well. Hey there everybody, welcome to another episode of Eggbusters. If you've never watched Eggbusters before, it's a video game glitch show that's gonna test your patience as much as it tests mine. This episode we've got uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, if you're in for some Zelda Breath of the Wild glitches, some fun times, and some friendship with me, uh, who wouldn't be? Stick around, because we got an episode for ya. All right, hello, welcome. Hope you're all doing well on this fine day. Uh, I'm doing okay. I gotta say I'm a little down in the dumps right now, so I'm sorry if I seem depressed. Uh, a lot of you think I just seem depressed all the time anyway. I guess that's some people just look, have a face that makes them look depressed. Maybe I'm one of them. So like I said, we got Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you've been watching Eggbusters, you'll notice that the last episode we did was also on Breath of the Wild. This one is a follow-up to that because so many comments were posted suggesting things based on what I did in that last episode. So I wanted to go back and kind of pay uh, respects to all the commenters who gave me really good ideas. So we're going to take those comments, follow their instructions, and do some new glitches. What we got first? Well, the first one comes from Master McKay13. That's right, my favorite commenter. They suggest that after we break out of the Ganon fight at the end of Breath of the Wild, which we did in that first episode, which you should go watch if you haven't, after we break out of that Ganon fight, we should take the Bow of Light, which is a special weapon that you only get at the end of the game, bring it to Link's house and put it in one of the weapon display pedestals, because if you put a weapon there, you get to keep it and it stays in the pedestal forever. So if we take this special one-time weapon, put it in this pedestal, do we get to keep it even if we leave and come back? You know what I mean? I don't know. You don't know either. So uh, first things first, we have to get to the village that Link's house is in. Play that glitch. glitch. Welcome back to my Zelda games busted it up like a beat up man. Got his ass beat in the ring and now it doesn't work anymore. So here's all my broken saves. Don't really matter which one we use really, does it? Uh, let's do this one. All right, I gotta go to the, do I still have the bow of light? I haven't played this in a while. Yeah, bow of light. All right, to my village. I can't, tra oh man, fast traveling doesn't work anymore. Oh, so am I gonna have to walk? I must have a closer save file. You can always go ask him to sell it and you can get one. It's really weird that Link bows down like that every time he gets his legs sucked up by the men underground. Sorry, I forgot you guys don't believe in the underground men. My daddy used to tell me that story how the underground men always are right below the surface and if you accidentally dip your feet in or dig a little too deep they'll pull you down and never let you see your family again it turns out he was just trying to prevent us from digging in the yard because we had exposed power lines so it was a good trick but now i'm forever living in fear so if you have kids first of all post a comment because that's really nice and i'm really proud of you look a bull oh shingle the animals are wild, and you have to be careful, just like real life, or else you'll get eaten by a bear like Timothy. All right, I made it to the village. Where's my house? Here it is. All right, this is my house. I'm going to go put it on, and then we'll know if it can happen or not. You'll notice I put the all the special items, but I don't have a Zora spear. But who cares, because the Zoras are dumb. I don't want to display... Wait, I have to do it over here. Give me this bow back. Oh, I got to drop something. Drop this. It'll probably just tell me I can, right? Display! Oh fuck, what happened? I still have it. It's still in my inventory, but it disappeared. Okay, hold on. Drop, 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 drop. Can't drop it. Try it again. Display. It just goes back in the freaking inventory. It's pretty anticlimactic. Interesting. Austin, is it really that interesting? No, frankly, it's not. It's boring as all hell. 
But I have to say interesting because it's YouTube. And if you, if I can trick you into thinking it's interesting, you might come back for the next episode. Can I still display other ones? Yeah, you can still display the other ones fine. It's just the bow of light. Well, that's too bad, but it is how it is. And that's how it is. So it is how it is. Glitch busted or unconfirmed, depending on, we'll just call it busted, whatever. Glitch busted. That's it. Play the jingle. All right, so far no good. Next one is a suggestion from H Hitler Hero, who specifically asked me not to call him Hitler Hero, and I'm only doing this glitch because I thought it was really funny that it sounds like one of his friends or something changed his name to Adolf Hitler Hero, uh, and he got stuck with it, so. Hitler is not funny in any respect, and jokes about Hitler generally aren't, but pranks on your friend, kind of funny. So what have we got? Um, the suggestion is that we do the horse glitch where you teleport inside of walls up against one of the Sheikah towers. So we take a horse back up against it, jump off, you remember this from the last episode, jump off, save, quit, all that stuff, and then we'll be inside one of the Sheikah towers. So we'll do it on one of them, and then we'll see if we can't think of anywhere else that would be a good idea to do it uh, before we move on from it, just to make sure that we didn't miss anything uh, last time. So anyway, first things first, Sheikah tower, Play the glitch. Let's just load one of the games that I have a horse. Bingo. Load on the bridge. Wait, how come it didn't load on the bridge? And now I jumped off, and now what? Oh, Ganon. On a gallop. Jump off. Go through. Easy. Too bad I can't bring my horse. There's a big thing here that I never even saw when I first played this game. Oh well. Look for a horse, look for a hearse, look for a hearse for my dead friend who's dead and needs a hearse because it's disrespectful to bring them on foot. Horses, which one should I get? Answer, just whichever one will let you come near it. That's true of horses and true of friends. All right, I got myself a horse. Now we gotta find a tower. How many times do I gotta say this, okay, before you'll finger? Can believe me, this game is beautiful. This game is really pretty. All right, can I get a horse up to the bottom? I think so. Yeah, this will be fine. All right, let's make a save. I can't save? Whatever, who, you know what? Just let's break it, who cares? It doesn't, it's not important. Are we up against it? Yep. Jump. Save. Oh, but I can't save. So, I knew I should have created another save, duplicated my saves or something on a new account. So I'm gonna have to go play the game, the chest mini game, to unlock saving again. Oh, crap. Okay, I did it. I, f I got saving. All right, tower. Move over, horsey. Is that pretty straight? Looks pretty good. Back up, and then jump, pause, save. I wonder if it's gonna be different at all because this is all ruined because I destroyed the whole save file. I guess we'll find out. I should close my window. Nah. Because, um, what's gonna happen? Hey, it worked! Nice. So even when the game is broken, it works. And I'm stuck, and I didn't do an extra save. Which is really, hey, you can walk through it. So, okay, we made it in the tower. Hip hip hooray, great, that's really cool. Who cares? This is like the opening credits of Star Wars if you play it backwards. Am I gonna even be able to make it to the top? I'm gonna run out of staminas. I wonder if I can climb through the bottom. Probably not. We'd never be able to do what we want on this. Move, move, come on. No, I can't. Well, now I'm in deep doo-doo. All right, drop. What the heck? Did you guys see that? Did you guys see? That was really strange. All right, is there anywhere else we would want to do this glitch quick before before we move on to the next thing? I guess somebody did say to do it on the Great Plateau. I mean, it's probably just going to leave us stuck, but we might as well get that get that out of the way. What the hell was that? You're supposed to avoid those things, horse. 
Are you blind? If you are, that's fine. I don't mind. I just need to know. Because whether you're blind or not will determine how we go forward in our relationship. If you are not blind, I'll dress nice. If you are blind, I'll put on perfumes. But it can't be both. Only one. You either get a good smelling man or you get a good dressing man. I'll tell you about a good dressing man. A good dressing man. Okay. Caesar dressing. Most likely on the inside of it, it's going to be just like the glitch in the first episode where it's just sort of a little sliver between the, uh, between the things. But you, you never know. You might as well try, right? All right. Back that booty up. I almost said ass and I don't want to swear. Jump. Pause. Save. Cannot save. Oh, piss. So you're telling me that every time I have to do this... I have to go back to the village, activate saving. So I've got to go all the way back to the village and then all the way back here. Okay, no, I'm not doing that. Load. Oh no, my save file at the village is gone. Because it's saved over it because I'm stupid. Oh no. So I'm gonna have to go all the way back. Oh God. Why do I do this? This episode is such a mess, all because I ruined it, and I'm really sorry, and I don't want to. Okay, you know what? This glitch is a useless glitch until I can restart the whole game and start back over and have a regular save file. How about instead of piddling around trying to work around my broken save file, we just do something else more fun than that. And then we'll come back to this when I have a new save file that we can use and then we'll actually have a little bit of fun. Forget this glitch. Onwards to the next one. All right, you did it. Let's kick it off. I just gotta open my eyes more, that makes me look less depressed. So far this episode is a big mess. So why don't we do a glitch that doesn't have to do with what we did last episode. This one comes from Vinny to the K. This person, whose name I can't remember, says that we should go to the very beginning of the game, play up to the point that we get the Magnesis and the Stasis abilities, and then off to the northeast of the Great Plateau there is a lake, and if we get on top of the door, use Stasis, hit it a bunch and all that. Uh, well, you've seen videos of people doing this, you hit it and then you fly off in a direction. And if we manage to land in that lake to the northeast, we'll be able to escape the boundaries of the Great Plateau, which normally you're not supposed to be able to do. Now, people have been doing this for a long time towards this lake to the southeast, which is Lake Hylia. There's plenty of videos of people doing it there. We're not doing it there. We're doing it to the northeast. Very different, I know. What ground we break on Egg Busters. It's a revolutionary show. All right, that's it. Get a door, get the, get, no. No. Get stasis, get magnesis, get the door, bring the door, get on the door, shoot off the door, get to the lake. Done. Play that glitch jingle. Play the little song I made. Austin, your voice sounds a little bit jing jingly. That almost kind of sounded racist, actually. I'll take that back. I didn't mean it to be racist, it just it kind of sounded like it. And even if you don't mean something to be racist, sometimes it is anyway, so just be aware. I spilled coffee on my shirt. So all I gotta do is get stasis, but uh, I gotta do all this stuff, all this crap. You know, I gotta be nude, and then I have to click on this, and I have to gather all these things, and it sucks if you're on the development team for this game, because then that means you can't play it. Like, uh, you know what I mean. Got the Magnesis. I didn't even know if I needed to get the Magnesis, but I did anyway, and now I gotta go get the Stasis. Man, I am chugging coffee like a college kid chugs beer up his butthole. I say his because mostly boys do that type of dumb shit. Sometimes girls, but mostly boys. All right, this is the Stasis Shrine. I have now obtained Stasis. And guess what? I don't even have to finish, I can just leave. All right, check this out. Here's a door. So first, we'll, 
bring it up top. So we're looking for this lake to the northeast of the plateau. And there's a big lake to the southeast. Maybe it was a typo. Anybody seen a lake? Oh, is that a lake? Yeah, it's pretty northeasty, right? That counts. I'll take it. It's time to go surfing in the USA, Link. You love the beach, boys, don't you, boy? I shouldn't call him boy, that seems weird. Okay, I made a mistake. Oh well. It didn't really work. It was fun, but it didn't really work. Alright, loaded. Where's my door? Oh, do I gotta go get it every time? Why do these glitches do this to me? Alright, new plan. Make a save right near the door. Then you don't have to walk. You still have to walk there, but as practice, why don't we just stasis this and use it to travel where we're trying to get, you feel me? So we'll just whack it, whack it, whack it, whack it, whack it, and then just hop on. It's like quick foul. Oh, holy shit. Jeff. All right, get up there, Link. Wee! why isn't it working? Worked the first time. Carry it all the way back. That's what you got to do. So you got to aim it right about here. Can I hit it from here? Yeah, I can hit it with both. Okay, perfect. Hop on, Link. Let's go. Please work. Please work. It's working. It's working. It's where? Where's the lake? Where's the lake? The lake? The lake's not there. It's just not there. So here's the lake they're talking about. This would probably be a good place to do it because it's pretty close. So we just got to get up here. Did you guys know J.P. Morgan was from, like, 1870? Isn't that crazy? That dude's all as heck. All right. Move. Whoa! No, 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 no. Piss. Oh, man. And we're back. Let's line it up. Here we go. Is that... No, that's bad. We should line it up nice and straight like a proper skateboard. You ready? Go! Hit it! One, two, hit it! Get on top! I missed. Have you ever been possessed by a ghost? <laughs> oh, sorry, I said that funny. By a ghost. Alright, here we go again. Uh, back at it. Let me make sure I can whack it. Alright, get on it. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go! Shout out from under my friggin' slippery ass feet. What is, what's going on? Who do you, which YouTuber do you think would be the most sympathetic to your life problems? Like the, the best to talk to about your life problems. Jeremy Jans? Fuck no. I mean, maybe in real life, but man, that YouTube personality. I ain't telling that dude what I have for breakfast. So I don't know. Answer in the comments below. All right, this should do. We don't want to go too strong, right? Hang on. Nope, still went right out from under my feet. This is not, this is bad and dumb. I wonder if there are any like tips online about using stasis on top of things, you know? Maybe I should look that up. Yeah, I probably should, huh? Well, Austin does that. It's time for a little Eggbusters presidential history. Calvin John John Calvin J Coolidge Jr. was born in 1872, which makes him really old. What did he do? Nobody really remembers because he's not one of the important presidents. Fortunately for him, nobody liked his predecessor, Warren G. Harding. Sounds like a rapper. Which meant that everyone just inherently liked him even though he didn't do nothing. One good thing about him, at least, is he really liked racial equality, which was not standard at the time, as a lot of people were racist and should be forgotten because of that. Bye, racist losers. All right, back to the show. Well, it turns out there's no special strategy to it. You just, uh, you just do it or you don't. All right, let's whack it. Hop on, crouch, pray. Nope, went right out from under me. How am I supposed to determine... I don't get it. All right, hop on and pray. Come on. Why? Why, 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 oh why? Why must I cry? Why must I cry? Why? I haven't been in this room for, I mean, Lord knows how long. I haven't been in this room so long that this room is now 500 degrees Fahrenheit. No, Celsius. It's 500 degrees Celsius. 
you know, at this point, it's been so long that even if this does work, I don't necessarily have that much interest in actually exploring it once we're down there. Five, and then we're gonna get on in the middle. It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked! No, it didn't work, it didn't. Ah, 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 ah. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. You know, I feel like maybe this is pretty innocuous and people don't mind, but that song gives me the same vibes of like old slave songs. And I feel like singing it because a glitch isn't working is maybe a little insensitive. Maybe it's not an old slave song. But it sounds like the song that somebody wrote when they were really sad. So singing it when you're not really sad is like slightly disrespectful. And some people think it's okay to be disrespectful if you're just having fun and that's okay. That's just, I don't wanna. So I kinda aim it exactly how I need to by setting it up on this pedestal, huh? So that does make it quite simple. Boy, we discovered something. Stasis. Woodcutters, one, two, three, four, five. I didn't get a fifth one. Five, there we go. Jump on. Careful, everybody. Still good, still good. Into the, why not? Why, what happened? Come on. It's really a big deal to be president of the United States. But there's a whole bunch of presidents that were just like, who the f hell knows what that guy did? Calvin Coolidge? I couldn't tell you a single thing that that guy did. Back to it, we can do it. Back to it, we can do it. Let's look up, what did Calvin Coolidge do? History lesson, let's take a break for a history lesson. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Hop on everybody, careful. Looks good to me, looks good to me. Not good, no, it is, no it's not. <laughs> This is a really annoying one. All right, this is a good one. This is a really good one. One, two, three, four, five. Jump on. Stay on. It didn't work, it's too strong, it killed me. Here we go again. What is this, day four? Four, am I? Uh, oh they are, whatever. I saw a lot of videos of people using the door to get over into that lake, but that is not the lake that we want to do this in, so we're not going to do that. I could not find a video of anyone doing it in this lake, but I'm sure there is one, I just didn't see it. One, two, it's actually a good direction. Three, four, five. All right, get on top and pray to the Lord Jesus. Nope, just kind of knocked me in the damn ass. Just line it up, 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 line it up, up, up. Five. Everybody hop on the party train. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. No, come on, why does it stop before it stops? Jeez, man, come on. <sighs> Great vocal warm-up exercise is yawning and really stretching out that, the esophagus and the vocal cords and stuff. I don't know if that's what's going on, but it helps with your voice. It feels kind of good, too. It's like a little orgasm in your mouth. Not as good as sneezing, though. Sneezing is truly, that's a full-body orgasm in your mouth. One, two, three, four, we'll do five. And then that's a pretty good aim, I guess, so we'll do that. Six, not all the way, come on. No, no, it didn't, yeah, it hit me too much. Dang it. One, two, and last one. Everyone get up! I missed, I can't believe I missed. I just let it go and went into the damn ocean and that was dumb. But life goes on and I'm gonna stay happy because my happiness doesn't depend on a video game. Well, not this video game anyway. I think we're gonna get it. One, two, three, four, five, and a baby makes six. Oh, we went too hard. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh my god, it worked! Oh, come on, come on, come on! Come on, that's so fake and stupid ass. Damn it, what the fuck? Let's just do this, this should be enough. Come on, baby! No, not enough. Can't say I prefer one or the other, but I don't like things being shoehorned. Either. I mean, right, it seems so. like it seems like in the arms case they've they've done they've done well. Five, six. Everyone get on. It didn't work because I wasn't all the way on, and now I feel dumb. But I think that might come if it comes at all. It would come later. Mm. Yeah, I think for now yeah, the the whole messaging and the central. Two, three, four, five, six, and a baby makes six. Sorry, I almost didn't say the good shit. All right, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. Wow. All right, put it in a new place. Let 
One, two, three, four, five. Let's just do five. We're closer now, so we'll see. Come on, baby. Nope. Yeah, still nothing. All right, we'll try that same place. We'll try six. Online conversation and stuff like that. I think if they want to try and get more out of one, two switch, they probably would be better off kind of. One, two, three, four, five. And a baby makes six. I'm really sorry for continuing to say that, but that's how it is. Off we go. Jump off. Oh, I forget. Jump off. Everyone on. Pray to the Lord Jesus. Jump off. No, it didn't. It's not working. I just can't do it, you guys. It's just like, ready to go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Hop on, Link. Stand towards the front so you don't fall off. There you go, buddy. No, he keeps getting flung like a freaking yo-yo through the sky. God damn it. Pray for me. We're using the little club now instead of the big, the big boy. Just because it doesn't matter, but you might as well change it up, right? Everyone get on top, stand still, and pray. Let's go. Yeah, he still just flies the heck right off. I don't know what else I can do. I really don't. I mean, I think I guess we're probably better off just doing it towards the other lake, because this lake... I just, I don't know. I'd say for the time being, we call this one unconfirmed. And then we'll come back, and we'll do the one towards this lake. Because apparently that's the really popular one that any idiot with a YouTube channel can do. And Lord knows, I'm one of those. This episode sucks. It's the worst episode of Eggbusters I ever watched. I got some further bad news. My capture device, I wasn't thinking and I just lent it to a friend who needed it for something important. So I can't, I can't keep filming. And on top of that, we can't do a lot of the other suggestions like you saw because the game is so broken because I accidentally saved over all my save files. So what we have to do is I gotta get my capture device back. I gotta start a brand new game in Breath of the Wild play all the way through it again, and then we can try some of these glitches. So this is a part one, then there will be a part two, and then we're never doing Breath of the Wild again, hopefully. So that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode of Eggbusters anyway. It's not really about the glitches, is it? Nope. I really appreciate you watching. Uh, I should say that if you've made it this far and you haven't checked out the other videos I've been putting up, the What Can YouTube Teach Us series and the tech review. Listen, these are not legitimate tech reviews. These are companies sending me things not understanding that the, I don't actually do tech reviews. So check those out, they're funny. Check out What Can YouTube Teach Us, they're funny. Uh, and if you really don't want to and you just want Eggbusters, see you in about a month. It's fine, honestly, I, I appreciate that you're here for Eggbusters. So have a good week, uh, I hope you have had a good month since the last time I saw you for Eggbusters. And I don't really uh, have much else to say. That's it. See you later. Hope you're doing okay. If you're not, uh, tweet me I'll ha or Snapchat me. That's even better. That's all private. So send me a Snapchat and I'll uh, maybe reply. Probably. I reply to most of them. In the boxes get some clothes come on down to thrift store joe's that's a theme song for thrift store joe's there's a story i read about these swedish guy maybe they were swedish norwegian one of those places with all the white people with the blonde hair so these swedish guys 
who lived in Alaska during the time that the Russians and the Americans kind of controlled Alaska together. And they worked, what you would do is you would sign a contract that says, I will work for seven straight years for you. Seven year contract. And you would go and you'd work up in Alaska in a seven year contract and you just couldn't get out of it. Because the thing was, it's not like you could just leave. You know, it's Alaska. If you left, you just die. So once you signed it, you were in for seven years and they didn't tell you how horrible they were going to treat you. So then you're kind of stuck, like, oh, what am I going to do? Seven years, holy crap. And this is in, like, 1850, so there's no phones and all that stuff. This is, like, they had no choice, okay? They couldn't send letters for rescue or anything. Not that anyone would care, because in the 1850s, America was just pretty much even more capitalist than it is now, frankly. Maybe not more, but, like, pretty similar. Anyway, so these three Swedish guys stole a canoe from the Native Americans, well, Native Alaskans, not even Alaska, I don't even know what it was called, Native that place. They stole a canoe and tried to canoe all the way down to Oregon in the middle of the Alaskan winter all by themselves in 1850, and it was really harrowing, and uh, it's dangerous, and you just got to be careful if you're thinking of doing something like that.